the deal with this, uh, the low F on this clarinet? It, it looks different. It actually is a little bit uh, shinier and prettier in a certain <laughs> way. What's, what, is, what is this? What is this here? Well, Eddie, as you know, one of the biggest problems in playing the clarinet is intonation. And one of the main culprits is playing in the twelfths, trying to get all of the notes in tune. So the lower register, the middle register, middle and upper are in tune. One of the acoustic compromises on the Bain system clarinet is the low F. And a lot of us become aware of it when we learn the Mozart concerto and we start going, yeah. and the F is kind of an E plus. <laughs> and our colleagues are looking at us, you know, like, why didn't you practice? Really, trying to play a low F properly in tune is almost impossible for most players. There are various ways to try and deal with it, but what we came up with is a system which is automatic. So if you play a low F for me, I'll show you what this does. So a normal clarinet is this. And that fingers wow. automatically in a way that that's a big every difference. time you play low F. And if I play it louder, you'll even yeah, hear it more. I think that's true. It's like so, contemporary music, it's like a quarter tone. Exactly. But now if you simply play the twelfth above the C. It's already closed, so when I play yeah. it, when I touch it, yeah, nothing so, happens. So, so it's yeah. automatic. That's great. Some low Fs, Eddie, are manual, so you kind of reach for them when you can get yeah. them. Yeah. So it's almost like saying, well, it's okay to play out of tune when I can't quite reach it. Right. But the rest of the time, you know, maybe I can be in tune. Yeah. I sort of think of this a little bit, you know, as though it's right or it's wrong. It's like so I strange, want to get it right. Stranger on the Shore was played on a clarinet. Yeah. <laughs> Right. That's Actually, how it originally play sounded. Play the low F and I can add the vibrato. <laughs> oh, another use. <laughs> so it helps with a low F. It just gives stability to the note and yeah. makes it feel as though you can control it with pitch at any dynamic. Yeah. Too often Beautiful. we have to compromise. Beautiful. Thank you. You've extended the range and the, the development of, of the B flat clarinet and the A clarinet. Particularly helpful on the A. Yeah. A clarinet low F is a note that I think a lot of players just Yeah, you have to lip fear. it up. You have yeah. to lip it up. And for some of us, we run out of lip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new finger, I didn't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the book. <laughs> nice clarinet, I like this. With this mouthpiece, it's warmer. It sounds great. Yeah. Actually. There's a little bit of breathing. Yeah, you know, it's darker. Yeah, just a nice kind yeah. of mix. Yeah, because it's a dark mouthpiece. Ups and lows. Yeah. Well, the mouthpiece is the right color for the clarinet, so it should yeah. be a perfect mix. So let's try, let's look at some of the new mouthpieces now. We really didn't try them. The new one yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Jeremy came up. We have time to do that, right? Yeah, as soon as... Are we done? 